In this tutorial, uh, I'm, I'll be showing you how to set up the uh, Proctor accounts for each courses. Okay. First thing you need to do is to sign in uh, to your Blackboard accounts, and which I already did. Then go find the course titled uh, C. There are three links here, C CISB Proctors and CSH Proctors and CISS Proctors, and these are a set of specifically for uh, managing the Proctor accounts. Wait, someone messed up, actually messed it up. For for setting up the H Proctors, you actually have to go to H Template. Gee, who would have figured, you know? So, you know, it's a little bit confusing, but go to H Template for setting up the uh, or, or managing the, the Proctor accounts for H courses. So let's open up the course in a new tab. Okay. Then uh, go to uh, Maple TA instructor menu, which is of course under control panel course tools and right here. Okay. Okay, these are the uh, menus, right? And go to actions, user manager and go back to actions it's kind of weird it's a weird thing you know you have to go back. okay actions roster import okay and scroll down this is the uh, roster file upload page what we'll be doing here is um, uh, create a, a spreadsheet uh, with the uh, proctor profiles so basically we'll be uh, setting up the uh, proctor logins and passwords on the spreadsheet and we'll be uploading it to the system and it's going to overwrite the, uh, the Proctor profiles that are on the system currently right now. So by doing that, we can create a new profiles where we can uh, overwrite existing profiles, so we can change the passwords. You know, in, in other words, okay. Before uploading the spreadsheet, I don't have a spreadsheet yet, so we need to create one. Okay. So open up the uh, Microsoft Excel and. Uh, Let's set up the uh, profile. Set um, Proctor profile. Okay. So you need two fields, two columns. Okay. Login. It's pretty simple. And password. Then you need to provide the uh, login ID for, for 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 this Proctor account, and the, the password. Okay. This is an important part. You know, you can't just come up with the your own login and passwords. You know, there are a list of uh, preset uh, Proctor login IDs. You need to choose from those, you know, preset IDs. You know, you can't just come up with your own. Okay. To find out which, what are the logins, you know, what are the predetermined logins are, then you go to um, the Google spreadsheet that I set up. Okay. H and S Proctor logins and passwords. So you, if you don't have access to that, uh, let me know. I can give you access to the spreadsheet. Okay, so open that. Okay, for security reason, I can't show you what the logins are and what the passwords are, of course. So you, these are the login IDs that uh, you have to use, and this column says, you know, shows password. This is just for our record keeping, you know, so that we know which password we used. The reason we're doing this is, f first of all, it's easy, you know, we. We don't really have to dig deep into the system to figure out, you know, what the passwords are, which logins are used, and stuff like that. Second of all, uh, Maple TA instructor menu will not allow you to retrieve the passwords. That's why, you know, there's a way to figure out what the passwords are from other inf pieces of information, but you know, it's not easy. So, well, actually, it's kind of easy, but you know, anyway, it's really important to keep this spreadsheet spreadsheet up to date you know because th this is very important you don't do not use the, the, the logins that other people are already using okay because if you overwrite the, the proctor profile that other people set up you're gonna be in trouble you know you're gonna make a lot of trouble for other people and you'll be in trouble too so make sure uh, you are using the ones that no one's using like these you know these are not taken yet you know so Let's use this one. Huh? I can't show you, you know, the details on the course info, so I can't really type it here. But I'm gonna be doing it later. Okay. So make sure you do that. You know, whenever you use one of these, uh, you know, 
these these broker accounts. So um, now I know this is the one I need to use. I can use. So let's go back to uh, the spreadsheet and uh, type in that the user uh, login ID. Again, I, I'm not showing it to you because it, for for the security reason, okay? And a password, which you know what it is, okay? Okay. Okie da. Then save. Save as you know. You want to save it as you know. Uh, CSV. You know comma separated format wait it's says MS DOS it, do, it doesn't okay this one <laughs> choose this one comma delimit delimit delimited you know I, I don't know what that means okay CSV this is the one you need to use okay uh, okay then uh, you can give whatever the name it is you know it doesn't matter but Let's see. Uh, because I was uh, setting setting up the proctor accounts for sociology course. Let's you know use that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now we don't need this anymore. Let's close that. Actually, yeah. Let's go back here, and now we're ready to upload the the, the proctor profile to the system. So browse, and uh, I save it on the desktop, and this one, okay. Then uh, submit. It's easy, huh? Okay. Okay. Again, I can't show you this, you know, but this is where, where this is where you get the confirmation. I mean, uh, again, I can't show you uh, what the login uh, login is and uh, all the details about the proctor login, but. Now this is what you get the confirmation about the Proctor's uh, profile that you're about to, uh, you know, upload. Okay. Enroll roster, and okay, and you get the confirmation here. Okay, okay, it's uh, it's success. And that's all you need to do. Okay, that's done. It's all there. Now um, you can safely get out of this uh, Maple TA uh, homepage. This is just one half of the whole process. Okay, the first half of the process is just uh, creating a, a new uh, Proctor profile and uploading it to the system, so that uh, you know the Proctor profile will be created or overwritten. Second half is the thing is um, this Proctor profile uh, I just created. It's still floating in the system and it's not tied to any uh, particular courses yet. Okay. You know, I set up the course a Proctor profile for uh, let's say a sociology 101 course, but the profile is not linked to a uh, uh, soci 101 course yet. You know the Proctor account is in the system, and but it hasn't been linked to any courses. You know, so that we'll be doing it next. So uh, let's go to a uh, soci 101. It's intro to sociology. Okay, here. So, go to the course. Right. Then go to a uh, uh, Maple TA. Okay, so you go to Control Panel and Course Tools and uh, Maple TA Instructor Menu. Then go to um, Actions uh, User Manager. And uh, go to actions again. You know it's a weird thing again. You know you, you you keep going back to actions and actions and register users. This time you know not uh, Rasta important. You go to register users and and the user login. You type in the login you just created. Basically, I can't show you what it is. You know again, but you know what it is when you're setting it up. And uh, search. Okay. And then down here, uh, the search result will be you know displayed. And uh, okay, you check that and register. Oh wait, this is very important. Before you 
click register, you have to make sure uh, Proctor is checked. It can be a student. You, 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 okay. So if you register this account as a student, this you account is not gonna work as a Proctor. You know, so so make sure you reg you re registering this uh, you know user login as a Proctor. In this way, we can use this login as a Proctor login. Okay, so register, then. Okay, and that's it. If you want to make sure, uh, you know, if you want to uh, double check if um, the account has been registered pr properly, then what all you have to do is, you know, just uh, search the Proctor. Okay, here it is. It shows up. So this account, Proctor login account, is in, in this course. So now. When students are taking exams, uh, you can use this Proctor accounts to authorize the exam. Okay, that's it. Okay, if you have any questions, let me uh, give you know. Please feel free to ask me questions.